Cool. Yep, I see it now. Okay, everybody, I'm back on here now. I have enabled full live chat, so that way if anybody wants to talk, they can. Okay, anybody that's on there. So now I have enabled full live chat on this. So if you wanna you wanna type something or if you wanna if you wanna say anything, you can. Um, so I will be doing a few more boxes now. So you can continue. Wait till a couple more people come back on again, and we will break those. We'll break Bowman Chrome, and then Allure, and then Bowman Sterling. Okay, so we got at least two people back on. That's cool. So now if you want to type something, you can. <laughs> of course, my brother, go blue. Yeah, whatever. Go white. Go green, go white. Michigan State every day. So we're going to start opening these up. Once again, I accept all feedback. Nothing else in here, although they do like to make a lot of uh, colored mess. Um, so let's see what we get out of these boxes. This is this is going to be pretty pretty interesting. I've got to invest in a box cutter; it makes it so much easier. So let's see what we get out of this one. Hopefully, now this is this is a box I'm hoping. To get some good stuff out of. Um, the cool thing is, is that not only am I opening this, hoping to get something good, but at, at the same time, I also have almost completed the Bowman Chrome set. So um, I've completed all the Bowman for 2020. All I need to do is get the the Chrome, the Chrome ones that are higher than uh, I do believe 150. Everything above 150. So let's see what we get out of this. See if I get some good stuff. So I'm waiting for one other person. So once again, in the chat, you can you can type whatever you want, um, how you think I'm doing. Once again, I'm just doing this. This is just my first ever one, my first ever doing my own personal breaks. These are just all personal. This is all my stuff. I'm just doing some of this stuff. I'm not doing the I'm not doing the LeBron James rookie year or the Luka Doncic stuff. This is just for display purposes only. But I own I probably have over two or 300 unopened boxes of cards from different years and different sports. I'm just a, just a different, I'm a collector of tons of stuff. So, um, but I'm, I may start doing uh, box breaks and stuff. So I'm just, this is my first live um, break. So I'm just trying to, just trying to see what, uh, 
how well I do. And I accept all feedback. It doesn't matter how good I am. Can only get better as you go. So once again, Bowman Chrome. I like Bowman Chrome because I collect it. I collect every year a Bowman, Bowman Chrome, Bowman Prospect. The only ones I haven't collected a lot of was the Bowman Draft, but I will eventually. So oops, I've already got a, looks like I've already got a redemption. So lay a trout. We'll see. And I get one of Isaac, Isaac Padres, which is awesome because it's not that he, he's a good player because he's not because he's with my Detroit Tigers. So that's always a good thing because it's gold refractor as well. So that's going to be awesome. But it's of my Detroit Tigers and I collect a lot of Detroit Tigers. So that works well for me, but on the back end, it doesn't produce a lot of money or it's not worth a ton, but it's always nice to get your own, uh, your own team. What made me try this? Well, um, it's because on board and have a lot of time. Nope, that's not the case. What it is is I've, I want to do this eventually in the future, maybe own a shop or something like that. So I wanted to do this. I figured eventually and my, my daughter, Mercedes actually helped me out with putting this together. Oh, what's it numbered to the gold? Usually gold, I think is uh, usually numbered to 25, 50. Yeah, you're probably right. 50 sounds better. It doesn't have a number, though. It doesn't show the number or anything like that. But you're right. Gold is usually numbered to 50. So I've got some color here. So this is good so far. Looking good. Kettle Marte. Ooh, an, uh, ooh, a numbered Ivan Herrera. See, when was he drafted? He was drafted in uh, – he was signed as a free agent, so he wasn't drafted, which doesn't always bode well um, for – a prospect, but you never know. You never know. So that's good. Let's put in, um, let's put it in a nice, looks nice. We'll put that up here until I can get a better, a better one. So then we got Mackenzie Gore and Jordan, uh, I guess that's Kleenick. And of course, I'll I'll I sleeve all my my cards. All my chrome cards will always be sleeved, and they always go into my set. So let's see. We got Nick Solak, rookie. Nice, nice. Solak, a Tim Anderson. Not a bad, not a bad one. Sam Huff, Seth, and Sixto Sanchez. We saw him in the. In the uh, minor league heritage, I actually have one Chrome Mega I was thinking about opening up, so I, I, I might. Alex Bregman, Marie, Mauricio Dubon. So well, hopefully that guy will be good. Previous Nova and Ryan Castellius. Once again, it doesn't matter who's on here. You can you can voice your opinion. Tell me I suck. Tell me I'm great. Tell me I need to do something. It doesn't matter to me. Andrew Munoz, Jorge Alfaro. Oh, a nice. There we go. Nice one. Simeon Woods Richardson. Let's see. Drafted the second round in 2018. Okay, well that's. That has some uh, work to it. Hopefully, uh, I'd have to. I'm gonna have to chop at the te top ten or top hundred prospects. Don't know where he ranks at, but that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not too bad. And Debbie Garcia and Alex Kirlioff. Kirloff. I think that's how you say it. Okay. Here we go. Burrows. 
Michael K. Dawn of Glory, Ryan. Joe Ryan. I wonder if that's Nolan Ryan's great son, grandson or something. And it's... Oh. Hmm. Doesn't say. I'll have to look it up. Okay, let's move along. There's a nice a king. A, a, there's a nice one. A rookie of Aquino. Aquino. Nice Aquino rookie. O'Neill Cruz. Okay, Bobby Bradley. Fernando Tatis Jr. There's always a good one. Julio Rodriguez. Christian Case. And Bo Nyler. Nyler. Hopefully we'll get something better here. So Nico Horner, hey, nice, nice rookie. He's a good one. And Kyle Lewis, there we go. Kyle Lewis, that's a nice one. In terms of just uh, base rookies, Kyle Lewis is bad. Pretty good, pretty good rookie. They will. Claybar Torres, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., George Kirby. Some good ones here. Down the last couple here. So what we got? We got Trey Mancini. Ooh, a nice Montero, number two, four ninety nine. Although it does got it. I may have to clean this up. It looks pretty, it's hard to see on here, but there's a little bit of smudge stuff on here. I can't see it on here, I guess, but it's about right. It's about right there. It's some smudge stuff on there. Let me have to look that up, see if I can get rid of that. But that's not too bad. And then we got... There we go. The last pack here. The uh, last pack, Mojo is breakers, we call it. Um, but, oh, looks, oh, there you go. Lazardo, a nice Oakland A's pitcher. Very good Oakland A's pitcher. Lazardo. Wish it was, had some color to it, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Paul Goldschmidt and Marcus Simeon. Mm. Numbered, but nothing great. Still like I'm um, I like everything shiny, so I love Bowman Chrome. There we go. And that was it. Overall, it was an I would say an probably below average box. Um but it just depends depends on how you look at it. For me, it's good because I, I collect the set, so it works for me. But um, it was probably a little bit below average, I would say, just in my opinion. If this was if this was like a better player, didn't and I don't mean it had to be Fernando Tatis, but if it had been a better player, I think the box would have been considered good. But it's a Detroit Tiger. We we don't usually have good high-end players, unless we pay for them. Okay, so the next box, I think I'll do a Bowman Chrome Mega. That 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 looks promising, the Bowman Chrome Mega. Ok, 
Okay, a little chrome mega box here. Like I said, I'll get a box cutter eventually here. Make it a lot easier to break into, but at this point in time, we'll just go with this. So let's see what we get on this end. Let's see what we get out of this. Let's talk about a mix of bag, a bag of mixed nuts. Okay, so these are different packs. Very interesting. Very interesting. So let's see what we get out of them. Once again, they just go to my my good old uh, set here. So Ronald Acuna, Alex Bregman, Jose uh, Miros, Matt Chapman, Dan uh, Vogelbach. I think only I think the regular packs here just have regular. There's no color, no autos or anything in it. I think these are just regular. Zach Collins, Kikuchi. Bryce Harper. Okay, Zach Gallion, Hip Francisco, Cody Bellinger, Miguel Cabrera. One of the only Tigers that are ever worth anything that are still active. Sean Murphy, which is not a bad rookie. Nico Horner, not bad either. Gio Martinez, Jose Abreu, who's actually was having a good season this year. Jose Abreu, Jose Abreu. Let's go through this. All right. So Dustin May, Matthew Boyd, Rosario, Jordan Yamamoto. Actually not a bad pitcher either out of, out of Miami. Pretty good pitcher. Okay, and now the good ones, the, the mega box ones. These are the ones that hopefully I'll get some, some good stuff out of here. So, ooh, and I even got a cool Nolan Jones, Dan Dunning, Sean Hell, I can't, I would say H Jelly, <laughs> but I don't know how it's pronounced. Shane Bate, Boz, and so let's see. Technically, I probably should put all these in the sleeve, and I will afterwards. But right now, let's see, where was he drafted at? He is probably drafted. He was drafted in round two, 2018. Not too bad. Not too bad. So, let's put this least here. Put something we get out of here. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we get. So, we get a sheen. A Casey Mize, Detroit player. Hopefully he pans out as well as Varlander did. Dawn of Glory Huff. That is Sam Huff. Monte Harrison and Diego Cartiena. Cartiena. And that was it. Not great, not, not bad for a Bowman Chrome Mega Box. So let's go into some of the more hockey. Lure hockey. If anybody knows who I am, I am a huge hockey fan. I played. I played hockey. Um, I'm a huge Wings fan. <laughs> yes, I'll. Yes, I'll break. I'll break Mosaic football if we. If you get any, heck yeah, I'd love to. Just because I. I haven't found a box. I haven't even found a pack yet. Like, I haven't found anything when it comes to uh, mosaic uh, football. And I just want to break it open just to be open. To it. But otherwise, I get into breaks myself for uh, the mosaic football. It's hard to find. Okay, so Allure Hockey. So Allure Hockey is just like Bo the Bowman Chrome version. Um of baseball it's uh it's very shiny it has some pretty good it has some pretty good i'm always looking for red wing players but uh it's a very good product if you like shiny so panarin ryan pooling there's first hit is Aberamoff. Not bad. Top 50? Yeah, I wouldn't. I guess you could say he's top 
fifty, but I wouldn't say that. There we go. Signed, and then we got Phil Kessel and Jack Getzloff. Jay Getzloff. All right, let's move. Yeah, so uh, yeah, bas basketball was easier to find, which is weird because you'd think that maybe being that it was easier to find, there'd be more of it. But I think I think people weren't notified as as early as it was for football on Mosaic. Ekman Larson, which is one of my favorite names in hockey. Oliver Ekman Larson. He's one of I just to say it is is very unique. Rookie, rookie Alexander, another rookie, Marinoff. Ooh, a nice white die cut of the same guy. Good old upper deck in there. Their proper coalition, coalition of uh, cards. Put the same. Nice die cut, though. Got a lot of rookies in this pack. Gusev is pretty good, too. I like him. Here. Okay. Of course, I can send you a Jimmy Howard. I've got plenty of them if you want them. You know he's not on our team anymore, right? He's 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 testing the free agent market. PK Subban, Goodrow, Brandon Janik. Jordan Bennington. Hmm, interesting. Bischoff and a Bennington. Jordan Bennington. And these are not, these are just red parallels. There's no number to them. They're not numbered at all. He will take all the Jimmy Howard rookies. That's okay. There's a guy in Michigan that I know. He actually does breaks. As, he does breaks on um, Instagram and Twitter, I do believe. I can't remember what he's, but he is a uh, he's tree collectibles. But he's a uh, he's a big Chris Osgood fan. So he's got he's like cornered the market on Osgoods. You go Hersher, Hayton, pretty good. Good old Winter Storm Allure, Brendan Gallagher. Oh, and there's a die cut auto. Nice. Victor Olofsson. Nice. Nice Victor Olofsson. Fortunately, because it's upper deck to stickers, not everybody's a fan of stickers. It's an auto nonetheless, but it's a sticker. It's a nice auto. Now there's no. It's number to 349, which is pretty good. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's anything special, but it's got a good old Jack Hughes. There's a Jack Hughes. That's a good one. That's a good rookie for the Devils. The Jack Hughes. Seth Jones and Hayton again. So the there's quite a few rookies in this year, especially the Red Wings. Mine is Philip uh, Philip Zadina, which is the one I'm really looking for. Anthony Mantha, Louisois, Brock Boiser, or Besser, as some people say. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Nick Suzuki is pretty good as well. Don't know that guy that well, but yeah. So it's. Hockey's always a free, is like a, it's hard to gauge who's a uh, rookie. It's kind of like, um, it's not like baseball where like the prospects will sit in the minors for a hundred years and then they might come up. It's, uh, it's more like they sit there for a couple of years. They could, depending on how they impact the team, they could come up and be an instant success like a Connor McDavid, or they may sit in the minors for like two or three years until they're seasoned enough. 
see, Matt Duchene, Jack Eichel, Eric Brenstrom, Maximum, cannot pronounce the last name. Once again, it's a hockey name, so it's hard to pronounce. Verano, Verano, it's a pink, not numbered, but it's a pink. It's a nice card. And we've got Rasmus Sedan, Sedin, Sandin. Sorry about that. Sandin. Wish they were numbered. It's a white rainbow. Nice card. So far, not too bad. It's been okay. It's been okay box. Yeah, Spectrum is a tough one. It. So have you have you opened up um, or have you watched a break, uh, Jordan? Because uh, I don't I don't know what the cards look like. Are they all thick cards, or is it like basketball where they did thin cards and then the autos were thick? Well, all thick. Okay, got it. Kirby Dosh, he's pretty good. Pretty good player for the Chicago Blackhawks. I only say pretty good because I'm biased to the Chicago Blackhawks. I'm a Detroit Red Wings fan, so, yeah. Anything on them is just okay. Jack Hughes, top 50. Yep. Ooh, Eric Carlson. I wish it was a rookie. Nice green. Number to 99. It's a nice green, like, we call them what, cracked glass, or, you know, you can call them what you will, but it looks for really nice. I wish it was for a rookie. It would have been a really nice rookie. However, you can't always get what you want. Then you've got um, Toronto Maple Leaf and Dylan Lorkin for the Red Wings. Last pack. Hopefully I get something good in it. Yeah, you're right. The thin, the thin ones bite. Like I can't believe basketball did that when they opened the box and they were all th they were like this, all thin cards, and then the auto was a thick one. I was like, okay, the auto was thick, that's cool, but you really, it looked like you really cut corners on on the spectrum for basketball. It, it you really cut the corners on it. So Cal Flurry, I wonder if he's related. Cal Flurry, I wonder if he's related to uh, Theron Flurry. Um, Philip Zadina, there's my guy. That's the guy I'm always looking for. Philip Zadina. Cal Maker. That's the big one for this year, I do believe. Cal Maker. And it's it's a uh, a pink, a lower pink. Not numbered, but it's a pink. That's a nice one. Austin Matthews, die cut, red. Joel, and, and here's the funny thing. Let, let, last Priance, I can't pronounce it correctly, but I actually know a guy that's in the in a break. He's he's a, he's actually a, he may even be a breaker or not. I'm not sure. He loves hockey, and I actually thought it was a relative of him because his name is exactly the same as this guy. So I thought it was him. He he said no, but that's kind of cool. So it's interesting that there is a a guy with the exact same name as his. I get Joel. But the last name, no. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, so I'm going to try to find my Bowman Sterling box. Just give me a few minutes. I absolutely cannot find it. Uh, it's just a little mini box, so I don't know. Just give me a few minutes here. Astros are winning one to nothing. Yeah. They're actually making a run for it this year. I like to see. I like seeing the Braves actually beating the Dodgers. Those Dodgers, man, they can't win for. You could give them a ten point, a ten point. Uh, you could give them a three game advantage lead, and I think they'd still lose. The 
Well, that's a bummer. I cannot find the Bowman Mini. I'm sure it's somewhere in my massive amount of boxes here. But uh, I'm going to do one more box. I'm going to do a Topps Fire box. And this will be the last one of the night. Um, I will probably go live tomorrow if I find the Bowman Chrome. And I will do that one tomorrow. Braves are 7-0 and oh in playoffs. So far, haven't lost yet. Yeah, aren't they up right now like like three to something? They get aren't they pounding the Oh they won. They beat the they beat the Dodgers. Man, they're up two to nothing. Woo wee. Well, the Dodgers look looking looking as good as ever. <laughs> 
Clayton Kershaw couldn't even start today because he had back spasms. So that's that's very interesting. As strong as he is in normally regular season, he, he just he cannot do it in the playoffs. He just can't turn up the he can't turn the notch up. And I don't think he played as well this year as he has in the past years. But um but yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see what we can get out of this firebox. Maybe maybe the word fire will help me out. Let's see if we can get anything good out of here. Ah, oh, Bobachette. It's always good, Galliani. A Guzman, numbered. Numbered to 299, so that's always a good one. Lindor, Muncy, and Acuna Jr. Okay, Rios. Reese Hoskins, fired up, good old Manny Machado. He's always always thought he was going to be really, really good, and he just he, – he's good, but that's about it. Springer, Quintana, and Granke. Devon. Low. Clevenger. Is that number? Nope. It's just a green. A nice green, green one there. Nice green Clevenger. Tusa Saga. I think that's how you say it. If not, I apologize. Rivera and Mauer. Joey Mauer. Yeah, I know his is. I saw it the other day. One sold for $120, a base auto of his. So, yeah, I'm, I got to look. I got to go back and look at my collection to see if I can find them out of the hundreds and hundreds of boxes I have. Good luck. By that time, they'll all be back down to 20 bucks. Munoz, Sale. Jacob deGrom, Gold. Nice. I'm into the stars. Gwyn, Yamaguchi, and Gosling. Yeah, I saw it. They posted it on Twitter. Uh, Watch the Breaks posted something. He said, um, wish, wish I still had these cards or something like that. And it had sold for $120. Trout, Candelaro, the Tigers. Olsen, Ichiro, and all, and Cabrera. Don't expect anything great out of this stuff because it's it's a retail product. It's it's fire. It's not. It only it's only sold as retail. And you kind of have to get the hobby boxes to get autos out of them. Not saying you can't get them out of a blaster box, but highly unlikely. Machado, Hater, Flamethrowers, Max Scherzer. Fernando Tatis Jr. Nice. And there we go. And done. Yep. Lemayu actually doing really well. Did really well for the Yankees as your bat really high. He's been in the league, though, for quite some time, though. Moogie Betts. Ahmed. Freeland. Zito. Means and the last pack I'm gonna rip for the night just because I have a lot of sorting to do for myself. So we got Stanton, a lamb, a, a, Pol a Polanco, and a Jordan Alvarez rookie, which is pretty good. And that pretty much does it for my first uh, first official, like, personal break box. Um, and I usually like, once again, this is the first time I've ever done it. And hopefully my cat doesn't knock off all this stuff in the middle of the night before I uh, 
before I have to sort all this stuff. I highly doubt it, but I think that should be okay. See, I'm guessing I'm going to go buy at least one gold label tomorrow. Hey, you you go and do that. I I can't I cannot do it for that price. Like if it was, it usually comes out at about like eighty five to a hundred a box. I just I can't do it for like hundred and thirty. There's just no way. Gold label, other than the one auto that you get in there that's framed. Other than that, the cards are garbage. They're like they're worse than these. I mean, they're they have on the side vaguely on the side it'll say like class one class two class three but they're technically not other than that actual what they say on the side the card is identical until you get to the the black the red and the blue variations which are worth a lot but i can't do it not for not for this you got one for 70 this year the new one is 100 i thought you said it was on on blowout website for 130 I could have sworn that's what you said. If it's a hundred, not too bad. That's that's better. I mean, yes, I, I've gotten them in the past. I've gotten them up. Oh, last year's ones was. Well, you said this year the new one is a hundred. I think. Okay, I thought you said this year was was a hundred and thirty. Because if it's a hundred and thirty, absolutely not. But. I've gotten previous years. What was it? Two years ago, I got. I think it was eighteen. I got a. I got it for fifty nine dollars. A box of gold label. I bought like two or three boxes of it. I didn't get much in it, but uh, but yeah, I don't think it's uh, it's not worth the value. And blowout this year is sold out now. <laughs> of course it is. But a uh, blow blowout's been a. Uh, yeah, they've had a lot. They've, they've had a lot of high prices this year. I was very surprised. But, hey, if you can – if people buy it from you, then I mean, that's them. But I'm going to let everybody go, um, the whole two people that are on here. But I will start – yeah, I'll, I'll start doing more live breaks. Probably instead of doing them like this with like four or five boxes at a time, I'll probably do one or two. That way I can save them and spread them over the course of, um, you know, like a week or something. But I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be doing this in like my spare time for now. But once I get um, some established people, I can do I can do a lot more. Like I said, I've got I've got a ton. I've got I've got a ton of boxes I can break. But it just depends. It just depends. I sit on boxes too easily. Like I said, this is a this is an 0304 um, LeBron James rookie year box that I have um, that I've had. I bought them at Walmart, like in o, what was it 0405? I think I bought them the following year. They were just still sitting around on a rack. I bought them for like I think 19 bucks. You know, these ones I was buying for a buddy up blowout told me to buy them. I was buying these for anywhere from 69 to $79 a box. These things retail for, is that prism over 2000? Almost. It's like at about 17 or $1,800 a box. These are now the other one that I have. Um, what was it? This box, this box is over 2000. This one, this one is probably closer to $3,000 right here. Because it's a, even though the camera doesn't show it, it looks more red. This is actually a purple box, but it's a um, but yeah, this one this one's over. This is definitely over two thousand, closer to three thousand. Oh, I will definitely sell them. But just think about it. Think about it. So, um, LeBron James's rookie year. LeBron James's rookie year. His 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 boxes are worth so much, but after his second year, his boxes weren't worth seventeen hundred dollars. They were worth like maybe 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 the high end stuff might have started pushing it, but it wasn't. It, it 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 wasn't that high two years in. Now, granted, we have COVID to thank for the Luka Donna stuff, but 
when when his he, this is his second year in the NBA and this box is already worth like uh, nearly two thousand dollars. We'll say seven to eighteen hundred dollars. LeBron James is, and this isn't even his high end stuff. This is this is would be considered mid mid to high maybe maybe mid, and it's at seventeen hundred a box. You know, LeBron's was never that high in his second year. So that's why I'm thinking like, now granted, I have a feeling that the card market is going to take a dip in basketball eventually within the next year or so. That's my thought. I don't think it, but you never know. You never know. People could just keep buying it because who knows. But but if in his second year it's already at 1700 unless he breaks his leg and his career's over, I mean, once again, that could happen. Um, what's it going to be like in five years when he's won an NBA title, if he has, or he's won whatever awards? I mean, this stuff could go through the roof. <laughs> Unless he's a Prescott. Yeah, I texted uh, one of my old soldiers. He's uh, He lives, he, he literally, his house is literally like, to, like a block away from me, my the house that I rent in Washington State, and he he didn't even know it was he was that close. But I text him uh, on Sunday. I go, uh, uh, I did it with the uh, the Looney Tunes thing. I said, uh, Dax, Dax all folks, because I figured it. And he told me that uh, that Prescott could be out up to two years. And he banked on himself for that long contract too. So, holy cow! Like he's done. He, he, I mean, his. I'm not going to say his career's over because look at Alex Smith, man. He's he played he played Sunday, and his career looked like it was over about three years ago when he had that horrific injury. So anything's possible, but uh, but as far as money goes, he 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 lost with that with that break in his ankle. He lost about seventy-five million dollars because who's going to pay for him now? Like who's going to pay that? So there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of people saying immediately when that happened. There was a lot of stuff on Twitter that was going out, and in in our I've got a, a Lions. I'm on a Lions uh, Facebook page that states that um, a lot of people wanted uh, Stafford to be traded to. Because one, he's from Texas. He went to he went to high school in Texas. He also and he's a um, and he would be a perfect fit. He does have the tools. He's a little inconsistent, but he I think he's a better he has a better arm than than Dak does. But he's he's a different type of guy. He's not a guy that just goes and does what the coach says. He kind of does his own thing. So that may be the issue, but. The Lions aren't going anywhere. Why not trade him for like a couple of number twos or a number two and a number three? I don't know if you'll get a first rounder out of them, but we could trade him for draft picks. We're not going anywhere, and they need a quarterback, and I think Stafford could could push him to the playoffs. But that ain't going to happen because our big old – we call him Bluto now. He's Matt Patricia. Um, he's he, he won't let him go, and neither will Quinn – because if they do, then they're writing off the season. And this was their last chance this year. They have to make the playoffs or they're fired. So, yeah, um, they're not going to trade him. So they're going to basically ruin the Lions again by not trading a guy at a high at, – at, at a chance where we could probably get a number one pick out of the Dallas Cowboys. But, yeah, that ain't going to happen. Their, their backup, too, is Andy Dalton. So <laughs> – let that one simmer for a minute. But I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys go. You can always text me. Um, thanks for both of you guys being on. I know there was a second and a third, or there was there was a third and fourth person on earlier. So I don't know who that was, but I do appreciate that there was two other people on. Well, the problem with Dalton is um, you're right. He didn't have a whole lot of weapons. So, yeah. Um, oh, good night. Um, yeah, I got to go, too. I'm getting tired. I need to.
I'm hungry too, so yeah. I'll probably do it earlier tomorrow. It'll be it'll be much earlier. I just had a busy day at work today, so it uh, it took me it took me a long time. I had to go up to the airport and bring some people back from the airport. took took me two hours to do all that, so that's why it was a late night. But I wanted to get this in because I finally had the ability to do a go a, a live a live one. So yeah, I'll probably try to look for that Bowman Sterling box and. When I break it tomorrow, maybe I'll find another box to break or something. Just something to do. But, okay, everybody have a good night, and um, that'll, that'll be all.